But if you're a constant traveler or commuter, you're gonna want this bag. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be taking a look at two things from the travel bag capsule. The first one being the waterproof phone holster. And the second one, so widely requested by you guys that I didn't even get a chance to break it in. It's still got the freaking tag on it. But this is the waterproof two-in-one travel duffel. So go ahead and sit tight and let's get into it. I did recently visit the ASRV store. If you guys haven't seen that video, it's the one right before this, check it out put a link somewhere wherever the freaking link goes nowadays. I showed you guys a brief overview of all the bags that they had to offer in the capsule. Let's go ahead and kick things off with the waterproof holster bag. So if you guys have been keeping up with this channel, you'll know that I am a sucker for everyday carry bags. I got the ivory cream one. I have the Molly crossbody one for the gym. Pretty much a no brainer going with this one. It's different. And on top of that, uh, the girlfriend liked it as well. So she'll be using this from time to time as well as myself, depending on what the day calls for. So construction of this bag, it's going to be waterproof nylon on the outside to protect your gear on the inside. Highly durable and it is waterproof. What stands out right off the bat here is going to be that Cobra buckle that's nice and front and center. Cobra buckle, such a good look, especially for a bag like this. This bag overall feel and look does have a luxury vibe to it, but having that Cobra buckle there kind of gives back that industrial street militaristic look so good choice there they could have easily gone with like one of those plastic buckles so i'm really digging the cobra buckle here and this is going to be the actual holster part of the phone holster bag right so we flip this over you lift up this flap and inside here it's actually going to be like almost a microfiber padded feel to it for those of you guys that have camera bags this flap is padded that's to protect your mobile device padded on top and it's padded on the actual interior of the bag itself too it is a phone holster bag so you can expect that and then that's where your phone would go now everyday carry everything else besides your phone your wallet your keys your gym pass your i don't know whatever you guys your pocket knife whatever's in your everyday carry based off of where you're from separate tab here boom zipper pocket um, I'm loving the grenade zippers here. Very nice touch. And these are heavy duty zippers, guys. These aren't like flimsy little, you know, standard zippers. These grenade zippers are built, but this is where everything else from your everyday carry would go. You know, your wallet, your AirPods case, your gym pass, your pocket knife, pen, whatever is in your personal everyday carry. If you want really quick access to your keys, there is also a carabiner on the actual strap of the bag. So that is super nice to have as well. And that's coming from someone that really appreciates being able to just pull their keys out really fast. As expected, it is a shoulder bag, so you can adjust the length here, go across, boom, and you're pretty much set. Now, this bag is pretty straightforward to the point. A couple of things that I would like to see um, if this part if the actual shoulder strap was removable, the bonus being that this is extra durable or so it may seem, uh, well, time will tell. It would have been nice to be able to remove the shoulder strap altogether and have this as a Molly compatible pack to go with the duffel, which I will get to next. Other than that, straightforward to the point. If you're looking for a more refined look as far as uh, crossbody bags go, this one and the shoulder bag will probably be more towards your aesthetic. Now, the story for how this bag was conceived is pretty awesome. Jay was talking about how he wished he had an all-in-one bag for those shorter travel trips, you know, the two to three day trips. As you can guess, being ASRV, gym, commuting, traveling, you put all these things together and you're kind of left with a one bag does it all. At least a bag big enough to carry for two to three days. You shouldn't need a full-on luggage, at least if you're a dude, for a trip like that. This is kind of your all-in-one stop shop here. You got the overall bag itself as a carry-on to get on the plane, settle into your hotel room, you unpack your other clothes, 
and then you break off the end of the bag and have a gym bag, a gym duffel for when you hit the gym during your travel. And then for the commuting side of things, you're roaming the city, uh, going to those meetings, whatever the case may be, you just break off this end of the bag and now you have a crossbody to hold all your stuff. Let's go ahead and work our way across. First thing is the construction. Same exact construction as the phone holster. The exterior is gonna be a waterproof nylon to protect your stuff inside, keep it dry, and the interior is gonna be a ripstop nylon, which is super durable, gonna hold up over time, especially if you take care of this bag, it should last a lifetime, right? So on one side of the bag, we're gonna have a shoe compartment that opens up and keeps your shoes completely separated from the rest of your gear. It is an anti-odor compartment, so that'll keep your clothes safe from your smelly workout feet. Working our way to the front of the bag, we do have a water bottle storage that is secured with a drawstring tab, so it can fit the heaviest of bottles right now. I just have this black water bottle in it. Also fit a shaker. You could fit up to a 40 ounce Yeti or Hydro Flask based on whichever one that you have. Obviously, this pouch will not fit like the half gallons or full gallon Yetis. Now working across here, know that this looks familiar. This is the same exact type of pouch that they have on the other backpack that they released, not the one from the travel capsule, but the two-in-one Molly backpack. Pretty much identical pouch. We got the mesh quick grab compartment so you can keep things such as your phone or keys, frequently grabbed items on that outside part, maybe even your gym towel, you can loop it through. And then I believe this is what the padded iPad storage is here, okay? So if you have an iPad, I believe this is where it would go. It is padded, so I'm gonna assume I am right. And then in here, um, again, this bag's pretty much brand new. I just have the shoulder strap that is included with it tucked away in there so that if you wanna carry this over the shoulder, you are more than welcome to. Other than that, you got the handle right here. Working our way to the other side of the bag, this is going to be where that second crossbody bag is attached, okay? Now this crossbody bag is attached via Velcro and the Fidlock magnetic buckles. Probably gonna be your favorite feature about this bag. The Fidlock buckles are just so satisfying to play with. Now, how convenient is this second bag to get off? Pretty convenient. Again, it's secured with the Fidlock buckles and just some Velcro, sorry for you guys that use headphones. And this is pretty much what you're looking at. Not gonna lie, on its own like this, it straight up looks like the dopest lunch bag that you can ever have. On the back side of the bag, you do have a sub storage here that you can keep, I don't know, thinner items, paper-like items, maps, whatever the case may be. You can keep that on the interior here. Um, anything that you wouldn't mind losing because it is not a secure storage, okay? It's just a little Velcro tab and it is open on either side of that patch, okay? There's two compartments that make up this bag. We go ahead and unzip this. Smaller sub compartment has a little pouch here. And then along the flap, you have a zipper mesh compartment that you guys can keep for more secure storage. From my point of view, I probably use this part to hold like camera accessories, batteries, lens cleaning wipes, stuff like that. So just the smaller items in here. We also have that D-ring here so that you guys can put your car keys, quick grab. And then moving on to the bigger compartment here, we got this open pouch that also has an elastic storage here so that you can separate your items based on how you wanna organize this. Rings on either side of the bag for that shoulder mount to sit at your hips like so. And then if not, you can hold it like a handle. Dopest ASRB lunch bag in the world. The drawbacks to this as far as cosmetics go is just having to be stuck with these Fidlock buckles just hanging out here. But again, for what it is and what it's made for, this is just meant to be a convenient bag that attaches to the other said bag. So now here's how the duffel is sitting without that extra crossbody bag attached to it. So you can see we're left with an open Velcro real estate patch here. And this would be that place to put on any customized patches that you'd like. See the remnants of the other side of the Fidlock buckles here. Add slot, the water bottle holder, and then the shoe storage. So let's go ahead and get to the back side of this bag. Something here that I feel was highly improved off of the last bag is this branding right here. So you can see we have Molly webbing here with the ASRV embroidered into there. Nice stitch of red 
right here for that subtle pop of color. I don't know why I like that so much. Even on the t-shirts, I care about this more than I should, but the little details matter, right? And I say this is improved off of the last duffel bag because the other one, it was the, the branding, the trademark was just printed on here with that lettering. And because this is the side that is against your body when traveling, those letters started peeling off and it just wasn't a good look for a bag that was 200 plus dollars. So I would much rather prefer to have this across the bag um, if they were really extra, even embroidering in the trademark. But you know, I'll take this any day because it is that Molly webbing. So if you really wanted to, you could attach another Molly compatible pouch uh, to this bag. On that note, there's also additional zipper storage in here to keep any other smaller items that you might be traveling with. In here, I might keep my glasses case, my hair product, my toiletries, contacts, anything like that in this pouch, okay? So that's pretty much it when it comes to the exterior. Now, getting into the interior, obviously you gotta go through this handle to access it, but the interior of the bag is pretty much straightforward and to the point, it's just one big compartment. There's no additional mesh pouches in here and that's something I would have personally appreciated just for that extra bit of storage. Like something even on top of this flap here, I would have appreciated if there was like a mesh zipper bag up here just to hold additional items, chargers, anything like that, socks just so that it would help with organization as far as this bag is concerned. You can really feel the construction of that ripstop nylon on the interior. So really straightforward. That pretty much does it for the objective side of things. Now getting into my opinions on the bag, starting with the cons. There's not really much I can speak on now just because I barely got this thing. I didn't really get to break it in. So again, time will tell as far as durability. Directive criticism, coming back to the Molly on this back side here, other than branding, other than aesthetic, it would be cool to see a functional component to the Molly webbing with all of their products from the backpacks to these duffels to the crossbodies that work as standalone products. Something like this, it would be super cool to attach it to the duffel or if they made a sunglasses case that was Molly that you can also attach. And that would basically allow for custom, like truly custom personalized build outs of these bags. This might be the template, but for me, if I were going to the beach, I would like to have this water bottle attached to it. I would like to have like a, another smaller nylon dry bag to hold like my sandals or for my wetsuit, anything like that. For my cyclist, it might be cool to have like another bag that attaches here for like your helmet or something like that, I don't know. It would be cool to see like a line of these smaller bags, these functional pouches and like a true like Molly system dedicated from ASRB based on your lifestyle, your activities, whether you're a runner, whether you cycle, whether you surf, um, or you're just a commuter. It'd be cool to build out these bags, have this as a template and be able to customize it based off of your personal active hobbies. As far as branding is concerned, ASRV, it'd be nice to see a dedicated Molly pouch capsule um, based off of that active lifestyle. So again, like a helmet pouch for my cyclists. Maybe if you're just a camera person, right? You're a shooter, you're a vlogger, whatever being able to customize and attach different camera bags to the said duffel, that'd be nice too. And I'm sure they're probably already thinking of this, but it's just some feedback that I'd have. It'd be, able, it'd be nice to be able to integrate all their bags across onto, a, onto one main bag. That way you can customize it based off of your own lifestyle, right? All season recreational versatility, versatility right there in the name. That being said, this bag is pretty damn versatile. I'm super excited to use this on my shorter duration travel trips. Again, I feel like for what it is and what it's designed for, this is an awesome bag. It's not just like a casual looking bag either. Like this has a luxury feel to it with the waterproof nylon and this almost pretty much matte black look. It's definitely elevated from the other duffels that they released. The other duffels they released had like more of a general gym vibe. Now this one overall does feel a bit smaller, but again, you're getting two bags in one here and designed for the shorter duration trips. I think it does exactly what it needs to do, especially as a carry-on, having the water bottle component here for when you take it to the gym, the mesh quick grab exterior. Like, honestly, it doesn't get better than this. The shoe compartment itself, anti-odor, 
does have plenty of space in here to fit, I would say comfortably, two pairs of shoes. Um, and that's while still saving space for your clothes inside as well. Definitely, yeah, for what it is, if you're a commuter, if you travel, you have those shorter trips lined up, or maybe you just want your first ASRV bag, but you can't pick between a smaller one or a bigger one, this is gonna be it right here. You get the crossbody bag and you get the duffel. That pretty much does it for this review, guys. Um, again, thank you so much for this. Thank you again so much for the support on this channel. It means everything to me. None of this would be possible without you guys. This one was widely requested, so I couldn't put it off like until you know I had some experience with this bag. I will most definitely keep you guys updated as anything happens with this bag. Um, if you don't already follow me on Instagram at Fit to the Wristin, I tend to put ASRB content, fitness content, lifestyle, all that stuff on the Instagram. So if you want to connect with me at Fit to the Wristin on Instagram. Um, but yeah, that pretty much does it for this review, guys. As always, thank you for watching. Let me know what you want to see next. I'm already stoked for the freaking fall collection. The team's already dropping little breadcrumbs from Jay to Casey, Kev, all those guys. They're dropping little hints of the fall collection and I'm already stoked for that. So you can best believe that I'll cover it and let me know how you liked that last video, the in-store haul. I think that might be the new standard for you guys, but we'll get there when we get there. So as always, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.